AMD's 6-core Ryzen 5 5600X is an impressive mid-range CPU that offers plenty of performance for the price. It has 12 threads in total, meaning you can pair it up with quite the capable GPU and enjoy fluid 4K gaming. All you'll need is the best graphics card you can afford, which is precisely where our collection comes into play. We listed the top 5 graphic cards for AMD Ryzen 5 5600X. These GPUs are listed in no particular order, so number 1 is not the best, and 5 is not the worst. Watch the entire video and pick one carefully. To get more information on any of these products, check out the links in the description box below for more information, and don't forget to subscribe to Gaming Gadgets Geek's YouTube channel. Starting our list with XFXRX 5700 XT Triple Dissipation. XFXRX 5700 is a budget 1440p graphics card that is a cheap alternative to RTX 2070 Super, but doesn't come with RTX features. If you can compromise on these features then this might be one of the best graphics cards for Ryzen 5 5600X without spending a lot. With max details and 1440p resolution, this graphics card offers two digits frame rates and smoothly runs all of the latest titles. More interestingly this graphics card can also be a budget pick for a 1440p gaming build with higher refresh rate support. There might be no direct competitor of this graphics card because the RTX 2070 Super offers the same performance but is priced extremely high. This makes this graphic card a budget and best value choice for users who are planning to get some mid-range next-generation processor like Ryzen 5 5600X. The aftermarket card that you can get is XFXRX 5700 XT Triple Dissipation, and as the name suggests this graphics card comes with three fans cooler, which is enough to cool it down and allows you to overclock the graphics card. The base clock of this card is 1605 MHz, while on max turbo, it reaches up to 1755 MHz. There is 8 GB of GDDR6 memory, where the memory speed of this card is 14 GB per second, same as of the RTX series competitors. You can connect up to four monitors to it as it has three display ports and one HDMI port. Next we have EVGA RTX 3070XC3 Gaming. RTX 3090 with Ryzen 5 5600X doesn't make sense as the processor is mid-ranged, while the graphics card is super expensive. Most of us are not going to go above 1440p resolution with these processors, and currently, the best graphics card for 1440p gaming are RTX 3070 and RX 6800 from AMD. Both of these graphics cards will give you decent performance at 1440p resolution, which you can go with higher refresh rates if ready to make sacrifices on in-game settings. While with 1440p 60Hz, these graphics cards are enough, and you can max out the latest titles at 60 frame rates and lower down some visuals to target 100 frame rates. Simultaneously, multiplayer games and expert titles like Dota 2 or CSGO can be played with these graphics cards of ultra settings and 100 plus FPS. With such an excellent performance and video memory, RTX 3070 is one of Nvidia's best budget offerings for 1440p gaming. The aftermarket card I would recommend you is the RTX 3070 XC3 Gaming, which is the best in build quality and offers a better clock than the Founder Edition. This graphics card's boost clock is 1725 MHz, while it has three display ports and one HDMI port and supports up to four monitors. RX 6800 and RTX 3070 have their pros and cons, but this card has the advantage of real-time ray tracing and DLSS support. At number 3 it's Sapphire RX 6800 Nitro Plus. RTX 3070 was at 1440p gaming, and you can even try ray tracing with that graphics card, but if you push the resolution a little bit up, then the performance of this graphics card will become garbage. This is because of the 8GB of RAM, which is already low for some of the titles released this year, and, of course, for the upcoming one. AMD has released the RX 6800, a direct competitor of RTX 3070 at almost the same price, but the 16GB of VRAM, which is enough as of now. This graphics card's performance is much better at higher resolutions, but when you consider performance with ray tracing, it stands below the RTX 3070. As of now, any latest tile you run at 4K resolution demands more than 10GB of VRAM, where AMD RX 6800 has much to offer to you. 
Some games support ray tracing on AMD RX 6000 series graphics card, but believe me, that is too limited, and recently, it was rumored that Cyberpunk 2077 would have full ray tracing support on AMD graphics card, but let's see upon its release. While considering AMD graphics card, the best vendor we've is Sapphire or XFX because of their cooling designs, while I would suggest you get the Sapphire Nitro Plus, which is way better than the founder edition of this graphics card. At number 4 it's Asus RTX 3080 Tough Gaming. No words for these beasts as RTX 3080 and RTX 3090 are one of the most powerful graphics cards and no other can beat them at their price. RTX 3080 performance is excellent, and this graphics card gives double performance than its predecessor RTX 2080 Ti, but at half price. The competitor of this graphics card is RX 6900 XT, which you know the best value graphics card, but for the best performance, go with the RTX 3080. The performance at 1440p is better than RX 6800 XT by a couple of percent, but when it comes to 4K gaming, Nvidia leads the game, and this graphic card can give you 3-digit frame rates at ultra settings. Another thing that is exclusive to the Nvidia RTX series graphics card is ray tracing and DLSS. With this generation, Nvidia launched the second generation of RTX, which is much better than before. You can go with the aftermarket card Asus Tough RTX 3080, which you may know is one of the best performing and reliable graphics cards. Though there are hundreds of models, I like this one the most, while my second option would be MSI RTX 3080 Gaming X Trio 10G. RTX 3080 comes with 10GB of GDDR6X memory, while it has 8704 CUDA cores. On the other hand, RTX 2080 Ti has only 4352, and this gives us a clear idea of their performance difference. At number 5 it's Sapphire RX 6800 XT Nitro Plus. A cheap alternative to RTX 3080 with RTX features and almost the same performance as from AMD, namely RX 6800 XT. As of now, RTX 3080 tends to perform better in modern AAA titles at 4K resolution that comes with ray tracing, while we are expecting that it will change in the future. When ray tracing and DLSS combined, they give you the best gaming experience, especially on these next-generation video graphics cards, while AMD has not introduced such a thing, at least as of now. However, some games also support ray tracing on AMD graphics cards, or will support upcoming times like Cyberpunk 2077, as their developers announced. The RX 6800 XT is the right option for 1440p gaming, and you can also go with a 4K resolution with this graphics card, as it comes with 16GB of GDDR6X memory. This seems an advantage for AMD users, as RTX 3080 only has 10 GB of memory, which most probably becomes an issue for RTX users. The Sapphire has the best offering in RX 6800 XT graphics cards, as their card boost clock is 2306 MHz, which is much better than the reference card. There are three display ports and one HDMI port on this graphics card, and it supports four displays at once. And with that we come to the end of our review. No matter what your tastes, I'm pretty sure you'll find something here that works well for you, and I'm confident you'll enjoy it. Until next time, have fun!